and welcome back to the channel and in this video I am going to attempt to ride on an icy road here it's extremely icy and uh, we'll just go it really slow but on this video what I want to talk about is the Wired Freedom e-bike and uh, I'll give some uh, info on the bike but the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I get several people have told me that when they go to purchase the bike that they had to pay shipping so I want to point out yes if you buy a Wired Freedom bike, there is a shipping charge. And I think it's across the board in the US, the same shipping price. But uh, I know for me, for Oregon here, the shipping charge is $250. So that might be the same price everywhere. And But even at that, that puts it to 2249. Even at that, I think the bike is a good deal for that money, and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, it's a 60 volt e-bike. And there's definitely not a lot of bikes out there that are 60 volt. Uh, very few, it's hard to find. If you can find one, that's a better deal than this one for this style for a cruiser style bike if that's the style you're, you're looking for let me know in the comments below and uh, so it's a 60 volt the motor is a 1500 watt motor and that motor peaks at 2200 watts which is pretty accurate accurate because the bike does boast a 40 amp controller and the bike has a 60 volt so if you multiply 60 volts times 40 amp that is 2400 and I think I'm just going to turn around this is not good to ride on again today but but anyway, let's get back to the bike here a little bit. So it's a, if there's one downside about the bike to me, the, the one thing that's not the greatest is the battery being only 20 amp hour, but for that money, that's all, you know, you're not gonna expect to get uh, too much bigger of a battery at that price, but you can always buy another battery, I suppose. But like if they upped it to 30 amp hour battery, that might put your price closer to $3,000. And I don't know if everybody wants to go to that kind of price or who wants to go to that kind of price. Uh, this is just awful out here on the road. I'm distracted by the road, but I wanted to talk about the bike. So, So let me know what you think in the comments is a bike that I should also mention though it's got full suspension the torque on this bike is amazing 138 newton meters of torque this bike is capable of going near 40 miles per hour it's a 26 by 4 inch back tire so if this is the style of bike you're looking for if you're looking for a cruiser style bike like I said, I don't think there's a better or anything else really much out there. I mean, the Fabulous Bikes has the Road Warrior. That's a, probably a comparable, but it gets more money as I crunch through this ice. 
But the Road Warrior, uh, I don't think is as good a deal as this Wired Freedom. I still think even at $22.49 kind of shipping that it's worth the money. Uh, if that's the kind of bike you're looking for. I like the fact that it's 60 volt, uh, a little more power, and it's got a pretty powerful motor at 1500 watts uh, sustained and 2200 like I say peak, but I think it'll go a little more than that. But uh, yeah, if you look around and you want, if you want a cruiser bike and you want one that's got a little get up and go, then I would suggest paying, you know, like say you're looking at one that's in the 1500 range, I'd, I'd pay that extra 750. I think it's worth it and get this one. It comes in four different colors as well. To choose from, I like the blue, I like the blue uh, or black would be my two choices. But I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out and just to see exactly what I'm talking about and see a full specs on the bike. Uh, and let me know what you think in the description below or in the uh, comments below. Let me know if you think that's a good deal, even with the shipping charge. I, I still think it is. I still think you're going to be hard pressed to find something that's equivalent. I'm talking uh, without modifying your own bike, because when you get into modifying a bike, you got to pay for all those parts, you know, and that can add up. So I, I still think it's a good deal. If you're looking for that style of bike, like for me, that's not my favorite style of bike. I prefer the Moped Cafe Scrambler style of bike, like the Lyric Graffiti here. But there are a lot of people that like that style of bike, the cruiser uh, style. And I don't mind it, but it just it, it wouldn't be my uh, number one choice. But I definitely like that bike. And would I recommend it? Yeah, I would. I mean, you can look around, like I say, and see what else is out there, but I think you're gonna be hard pressed to find something better. Well, that's gonna do it for this uh, ride. I was gonna do a decent ride. It's still cold out here and windy, and the roads just aren't improving like they're supposed to be. This is the same situation as yesterday. It almost seems to me to be worse today than yesterday and I didn't go out yesterday to ride because it was too icy so hopefully by tomorrow we're getting in better uh, conditions here so I can do a decent ride but I wanted to get that in about the wired freedom because it is a good bike I would say it's worth it despite having to pay shipping and yes you do have to pay a shipping uh, charge but even at that I know most bike companies uh, uh, include the shipping as part of their price so factored in with the shipping it's going to be at least for me and i think it's the same for every state uh 250 dollars extra so that's going to put it to 22.49 like i say i still think that's a good deal because it's 60 volt if that was only a 52 or 48 volt which a lot of bikes are i wouldn't i wouldn't like that deal at all but seeing as it's a 60 volt, I know it's got a lot of power, 138 newton meters of torque is gonna knock you on your keister. Uh, yeah, I like it. So that's gonna do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, hit that thumb like uh, button. If you wanna subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell and you'll be notified. Once again, thank you for joining me on this icy short ride and hopefully things improve on the next one and we'll catch you on the next video.